everyone, it's Hannah and welcome to the Luxury Home Show. Today I'm going to be showing you around this gorgeous six bedroom family home in Buckinghamshire and introducing you to its owners, Alex and Rob, who actually lived in the previous house on this plot for 10 years before demolishing it and creating this. The property is available for photo shoot hire through Love Locations and we're going to add a link in the description below if you'd like to find out more about hiring this house out for yourself. Right. Let's head to the front of the property and start the tour. And here we are at the front of the property and what an impressive, impactful frontage it is. Symmetrical, looks beautiful. Wow. Now the owners have definitely gone here for an Americanized modern farmhouse style of architecture, both outside and inside. We've got an amazing driveway here, about eight cars, I think, behind a gated driveway. It started raining, so I think that is the perfect opportunity to head inside. So here we are, we come straight through that front door, in and out of that dull day, into this beautiful, warm, and very inviting entrance hallway. Wow, look at the amount of space here. I mean, it warrants having a huge console table like this, and it is triple height, and we've got a fantastic feature light up there, and this beautiful, twisted staircase and I love the contrast of the dark balustrade here with these white walls and ceiling. All the paint in the house is by Farrow and Ball so very high spec with some amazing names as well. I'll try and remember them all for you. Now we've got uh, Oakley wood timber flooring here in a herringbone style. It's a lovely warm tone here and it's underfloor heating so lovely and toasty warm and having underfloor heating of course it just distributes that heat uh, a lot more effectively. Right, okay, let me take you through to the open plan kitchen living room. Before I do though, just to mention, to tease you, on my left we've got a movie room, cinema room, and then on my right we've got the boot room and a golf simulator room. That's a first. So we've got that to look forward to, but first let's head in here. Okay, through these lovely black crystal doors and into the open plan kitchen and living room. So kitchen is on my right, but first I want to show you this area. It's giving me New Hampshire vibes, definitely leaning into that American appeal here. And this gorgeous green sofa, I love these earthy warm tones here. Uh, so we've got TV there, lovely cabinetry, and we've got speakers as well in the ceiling and a recessed ceiling, which means it can accommodate some air conditioning. And then the flooring is the same that we saw in the hall. So it creates a lovely flow throughout this lower floor. This is such a bright and airy room. Uh, loads of natural light flooding through these doors uh, and windows. But if it does become a little bit too sunny, it does happen here in England. You can actually use these electric blinds. Look at this. How smooth and quiet is that? Wow. So if the sun is blaring through... You can just put those down and then up again. Ah, oh, very slick, love that. Right, okay, so on my left, we have got, I think we'll call it the snug room or the informal living room, follow me. Much darker in here, very different tone. And the owners actually did say that they wanted this room to look a lot darker from the outside. And then when you're looking from in here out, it's a lot lighter and you definitely feel that. Yeah, it feels very opulent in here, very formal living room, but I really like this. So we've got Hague Blue on the walls and the ceiling, which I have to say is a really bold, brave move, but I think it really works. And it just creates this lovely cozy corner 
here and there is enough space in this property for everybody basically to have their own living room so we've got a marlow stoves fireplace here it's open uh, so you can actually open that we also have this amazing uh, inbuilt TV here. Oh, look, the luxury home show. If you are enjoying the video so far, do hit that subscribe button, give the video a like. All right, let's head back out into the light. Oh, wow, yeah, much lighter. Okay, so moving into the dining room area. So we've got a really big table here, enough for eight people. Very solid, sturdy kitchen table here. And then into the kitchen. So here we are in the main kitchen and I thought I would take advantage of their tea and coffee making facilities and uh, warm myself up a coffee. It's all tucked away in here. So we've got a Miller oven and microwave and we've got, look at this, a proving drawer when you're making your bread. I love that. Now the owners, Alex and Rob, actually designed this whole kitchen themselves, but it was manufactured and built by Beaver, as was all the joinery and all the cabinetry. And it's things like that. You need to have super high spec for it to feel as immaculate as it does. And it really does in here. And I'm definitely getting New Hampshire vibes again. It's this modern farmhouse style. They've even added reclaimed oak beams on the ceilings to make it feel that, you know, cozy farmhouse sort of feel in here. Very charming little addition. And I love the extra additions of wood, these raw materials that just warm this whole place up a lot. So we've got a walnut veneer that wraps around the entire island here, which is just beautiful. And we've got space here for five, six. There are six spaces on this breakfast bar. I love this. This is probably where you do, you know, you, informal eating. So you could have the kids around here for breakfast or if you had some friends over having a glass of wine. Now this is by Cosentino. Uh, this is part of their sense range and it's natural marble and it's stain resistant, which is just brilliant if you have got a busy household to keep it nice and clean or of course if you're hiring it out. So follow me around here. Wow, the space. Again, I'm definitely getting this sort of American feel here. Look at the size. Really big space here. So lots of workspace, but equally a lot of uh, room to maneuver between the oven and your lovely big sink here. So this has sort of been brushed to make it look a bit more vintage. Now, this is, I think this is what you would call your show kitchen. This is where, you know, you're, you're showing off a little bit. Maybe your chef comes in to cook something up, but through here, this is probably a more working kitchen, ut utility room. So here we go. And I love the juxtaposition here. We've got the dark cabinetry as opposed to the lighter one in the kitchen. Okay, so back into the main kitchen, we've got an integrated fridge and freezer here, nice and seamless. And then we've got a big gas hob here. And one of these, I've never seen one of these before. This is actually a pot filler. So if you've got a big pot on the stove and you wanna fill it with water, you just do that. This has actually been influenced by Studio McGee, as has a lot of the house. And then this is another little fun thing. This is the drinks cabinet with a little noise. So you know who's been in. Oh, I love that. We're going to go into another living room um, with Cat. Hi, Percy. <laughs> so this is actually more like a summer room and they wanted to create a living room that you could use predominantly in the summer and I can definitely imagine that. We've got these huge big sliding doors here so lots of natural light flooding in. A TV which I've been told you can see from the swimming pool and then we got these big limestone tiles they're by domus and they're the same on the inside as they are on the outside so this is really lovely seamless effect here and the threshold is completely level i know it sounds a small thing but it's things like that that really make it stand out there's no little bump you're not going to trip over nice and level and it is underfloor heating hence why percy is settled down in here it's nice and warm isn't it Lovely. Right, well, we'll leave him to it. And then we're gonna, this is great. Oh, look at these pieces, very organic pieces in here. I love this. All right, continuing into the gym. Wow, to have your own gym at home. I mean, you know, half the battle of exercise is just turning up. 
just pop downstairs and here you go. And you've got this great view. I mean, that's motivation, isn't it? And then again, we've got these big doors. So maybe in the summer, you can swing those open, getting the vitamin D on you. Oh yeah, brilliant. Another TV. They like to watch the TV in here, my kind of people. So this is great. This has all been designed by Fine Point and all the equipment is Techno Gym. And then we have got, oh, sensored lights obviously a little changing room here so there's actually two vanity rooms on top of the six en suites so every bedroom has an en suite very generous uh, but this is yeah the changing facilities for the pool and the gym we're back in the main kitchen follow me into the hallway to my left we have got the downstairs vanity room and I am in love. This is just amazing. This is black onyx marble, but it is back lit and it just produces this beautiful luminous glow. Now this is the powder room that your guests will probably be using when they come over and I would be very proud to show this off. Wow. <laughs> now I mentioned those two rooms at the very beginning. So we're gonna go first to my left through the boot room and into the golf simulator room. Wow, <laughs> this is just brilliant. Oh my goodness. It's a very sporty family. So Alex, what'd you say? A little competition later? I think so. Yeah, he's up for it. Uh, we've got a, a games corner here for the son, son, dad. And then the most important bit, meet Teddy. Okay, I'm just gonna have to take myself away because that is so cute. Okay, so this is the golf simulator room. Follow me into the other room, which is the home cinema room. I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm always here for a cinema room. I, there's just so much space. Big TV, we've got inbuilt units. This color is fantastic. It's like polished and it's in Tanner's brown, so a very, very dark brown. But I mean, what a snug. I'm in love. The interior design in this house is just incredible and it is all brand new. Construction started in September 2021 and I really want to hear from the owners, Rob and Alex, about how this place came to be. So I am Alex Greaves and I'm a delivery director for a, a great training company. And I'm Rob, Alex's husband, and I'm a property developer. And our kind of journey started here. So I come um, from the area, grew up in the area about 20 minutes, the other side of Tame. And then we met at university many, many years ago, over 20 odd years ago. And then we had our first child. So we thought at that point before they start school, which made me think about moving back down south. Rob's originally from uh, Christchurch near Bournemouth, so we're both southerners. Um, so after 16 years of living in Manchester, we thought we'd come back down, back home near my family. And then we saw this house, which was a 1980s. Yeah, we, we nearly bought an old farmhouse in another village just down the road, but this house came up. We bought this and we pretty much bought it on the strength of like the garden, which we didn't see as a plot at the time, yeah. but we, um, it was right for us in location and it had sort of decent potential because the original plan was to sort of, you know, renovate or to refurbish and remodel. Ultimately, we knocked the house down. At first, I wanted to just extend what we already had because it had good bones of the original house, but then we realized it had been extended twice before and it's becoming a bit like a rabbit warren and the flow wasn't there and you couldn't enable greater flow by doing an extension. So we did come to that conclusion of knocking it down. And then you know what happens, these things and these ideas grow and grow and grow. It's like, oh, we could also do that and also do that. So um, yeah, it kind of blossomed that way. Um, but it's, yeah, it's been a lot of fun, but it's been a big journey. Probably one of the first challenges was we both have our own ideas and our both have our own opinions. And it's making sure they kind of don't smash together and, and you know. Yeah, it took, it took us a while to agree on a happy medium of, of what the aesthetic of the house was going to look like externally. I would have been quite happy with a sort of quite modern sort of contemporary building. Alex wanted a sort of stone built cottage and so we had to, we spent a lot of time before we even really spoke to architects about mm. looking at precedent images and trying to find a style that we both liked that we thought might fit the, 
the plot and the area and stuff. So. Um, so inspiration behind kind of the materials and design of the house, I'd say definitely comes from Studio McGee. Uh, kind of, we started off, you had a Pinterest board, so I had to get on board with the <coughs> Pinterest board, um, and you were sending me 24-7. Uh, yeah. yeah, so many boards, so many ideas, so, most of which I really liked, but then obviously the more you delve into these things, so I found Studio McGee kept coming up on my Instagram, um, and then I found they had that Netflix show, so I was uh, watching them, and then I bought even their book. So lots of inspirations come from Studio McGee. And I think one of the key things that I think we got out of it was we wanted to make sure that every room had something that was interesting in it. So a room didn't have four straight, smooth walls. There was some, there's a lot of panelling. Yeah, a bit of panelling and yeah, a bit of interest. My favourite room in the house was without doubt the golf room. But then second favourite, we spend a lot of our time in the evenings, particularly in the winter, in the living room, which is like sort of the dark room. I'm going to be really sad. One of my favourite rooms is the laundry room, which is a really depressing response, I know. Is that... <laughs> my favourite room is whichever room my cat is in. <laughs> Tedster. Um, yeah, love the laundry room, because uh, I love the colour in there. I love the fact that it's got lovely views over the fields as well, so I can see sheep and it's very calming. Um, and it's a room that most people, for some reason or other, don't tend to annoy me in. They don't tend to come in there and disturb me. Fascinating to hear from Alex and Rob there. OK, so I'm just coming out of the theatre room. So up we go to the first floor. Oh, I love this. Nice textural touch. All right. Here we are. This is a really big landing again. I love the space and the, the airiness that we've got in here. To my left is... Bedroom number six, but they're using it as their office at the moment. And I would not mind working from home here. This is lovely. So you've got views out onto the uh, street and to the drive there. Nice big rug, bespoke inbuilt cabinetry. And we've got an ensuite as well, because obviously this is sort of built as a bedroom. Okay. And then through into their little girl's room. Oh, I love the colour. So this is Calamine. Again, Faro and Ball. I love the, oh, the handles are brilliant. And you can actually, there's a little balcony that you can pop out onto. And all of the rooms are very generously sized, so room to grow. And like I said earlier, they're all en suite. Look at that for a bathroom. I love the pink tiling. And then we have got a laundry room up here on the first floor, very American inspired. So tumble dryer, washing machine at this height as well, which is brilliant, you have to be bending down. And what is my favorite color? Uh, it's called arsenic. Don't know why, but I love the color. All right, along the hallway here and into the guest bedroom. And they call this the blue room. So, oh, look at this traditional bed. Look at this. I love that. And then we've got a lovely bathroom. There we go. I love these gold accents. A lot of the sanitary wear in the property is either Lusso or Crosswaters, and it's just beautiful. Adds a very contemporary and elegant look. And then through to the principal suite. We'll start in the ensuite this bath so this is luso and i just love the shape of it again it's just like pebble design very stylish and chic and i bet incredibly comfortable i won't get it in this time gold touches again i love uh we've got these I, I like the accents of wood throughout the property it does make it feel a lot warmer and a bit rustic uh double basin and then a walk-in shower with a rainfall shower. Wow, this is beautiful. Again, all of the tiles are by Domus. Very nice. Then we've got a separate toilet, very handy. Look at this bedroom, open fire, lovely mantel piece here, another piece of wood and views out across the garden and the swimming pool. You're just not overlooked here at all. It's your own little oasis there. Now, this is a little bit of a secret. Wait until you see this, you ready? Have a guess what it is. <laughs> a revolving door 
into your walk-in wardrobe. Oh my goodness, wow. I'm not even sure if I'd want to keep this tucked away. Look how neat and tidy it is. Got LED lights, so you can showcase your best wares. Wow, what an ingenious construction. Absolutely amazing. And then you've got the biggest mirror ever. So you can see what you look like after you've dressed yourself. <gasps> amazing. That is so cool. I'll show you again. Oh, what a fabulous design. Wow. We are going up again to the second floor. I love the panelling here. It just creates a really interesting effect to the wall. And here, wow, you get a full scope of just its triple height, a fantastic light feature. And I can see all the way down to the entrance and then into another one of the guest rooms. I mean, I would call this the guest quarters. You basically got half the floor to yourself here. And I love a bedroom in the eaves. Um, you just create these fantastic angles here and this character in the, uh, in the roof. So I love it. Uh, we've got a little seating area again, um, integrated wardrobes, another rug -a, -bowl, a little desk area, and then the ensuite. I mean, I don't know whether we should call these ensuites. This is a full on bathroom. Again, we've got these black accents now rather than the gold, which is nice. I love the flooring as well. And on all the floors, it's underfloor heating, not just the ground one. And then, <laughs> this is the teenage boy's room. He lucked out. This is so good. We've got a game. We've got a desk area when you're hopefully studying very hard. That's so cool. I mean, air hockey. <gasps> Alex, I think there's going to be another competition happening. Mm, love that. And then, ooh, a bit of a darker bathroom. This is nice. Yeah, I like this darker style here. And then we've got some blues. And then both of these bedrooms have air con and loads of storage. There we go. So that is it on the top floor. I'm going to see you back downstairs to finish. Well, here we are back in the glorious garden and there is something for everyone out here. We've got a fire pit, a barbecue area, a little egg chair, sun lounges, trampoline, a lounge area, a dining area, an ice bath, table tennis. Oh my goodness, you would never want to leave. And Alex is standing on the beautiful lawn there. This is just the perfect secluded place to come and get away from it all. Well, I have absolutely loved showing you around here today. If you've enjoyed it, give it a like and make sure you subscribe to The Luxury Home Show so that you are up to date with all of the latest and greatest homes from across the UK. So I'll see you again very soon. This is Inderhald, a remarkable modern property designed and built by its current owner, Natalie. The design at both inside and outside is immaculate. And today we get to explore it and even meet Natalie herself.